Hey guys, do subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell icon to be notified about our future videos. So far you visited the sun, you even visited the hottest planet in the solar system, old Venus herself. Now it's time to put on a sweater, wrap it around you nice and tight, for we're gonna take a journey to one of the coldest planets, the ice giant itself, Uranus. Hi, my name is Sean and welcome to the seventh planet in our solar system, Uranus. Now Uranus is the first planet to be discovered in the modern world. But what exactly does that mean? Well for starters, our great 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 you get the point, ancestors had no clue about it. Uranus needed a telescope to be seen and it was only in 1781 that it was first spotted. You see way back in 1781, William Herschel didn't have much to do. So one night he was out mapping the sky when he came across Uranus. Now the planet Uranus in and of itself is massive. How massive? It's about 14.5 times the mass of Earth. But Uranus, like Saturn, isn't very dense. It's home to a small rocky core, smaller than that of Earth itself. The core is surrounded by a thick layer of materials like water, ammonia and methane. Scientists refer to water, ammonia and methane as ice, even though it's not like the ice we see on Earth. You know, purely water ice, this is how Uranus came to be known as an ice giant. Now speaking of ice, here's a really, really weird fact about Uranus. The pressure on the planet is so strong that it can break up the methane molecules, squeezing the carbon in them so tightly that they end up forming diamonds. Diamonds. Now remember, this happens on the atmosphere of the planet. Meaning if you were lucky enough to stand on Uranus, it would rain diamonds. Unfortunately, we can never really step down on that planet. We sadly can't even see Uranus' diamond shower from Earth. Uranus, like a ton of its neighbours, is super secretive. All we can see is the top of the clouds that shield the planet from our gaze. Now when you look at Uranus, all you see is an aqua green colour ball. The atmosphere, mainly methane, is great at absorbing red light wavelengths. So all you see are the blue and the green ones. However, if you switch to infrared, that's when the planet shows you all its secrets. Now, through infrared studies, we found out that Uranus is actually very, very stinky. This is largely due to a high concentration of hydrogen sulphide in the atmosphere. Hydrogen sulphide is most commonly known for that foul rotten egg smell. This, combined with the ammonia and methane, makes it one of the smelliest planets in the solar system. But you see, the smell wouldn't really matter on Uranus because the temperature is so low and the pressure is so high that before you could smell it, well, you wouldn't be in a position to smell it. The lowest temperature on Uranus reaches minus 224 degrees Celsius. Now that's really, really cold. Now besides just infrared, there is another way to sneak a glimpse at Uranus and that's thanks to its storms. Storms on the planets are so bright that they can be seen all the way from Earth, with the help of a telescope, of course. This has given astronomers great insights into the workings of the planet. This brings us to the weirdest thing about this planet. Uranus is on its side. Confused? Let's try and break it down for you. Now, every planet rotates around the Sun. Most planets have a bit of a sideways lean while rotating. Earth is tilted at its axis about 23 degrees. However, Uranus is a completely different deal. Uranus is tilted at its axis at 98 degrees. That means Uranus essentially rotates around the Sun on its side. So if all these other planets are normal, why is Uranus so sidey? Sidey, get it? One theory is that the planet got hit by a massive object a long time ago. This impact would have caused the planet to shift to its side. To be honest, this or anything else about Uranus is very hard to prove. You see, the planet is very far away from Earth. Plus, we've only visited it once, in 1986 when Voyager 2 passed by. You see, it was then that we realized 
that a day on Uranus is about 17 Earth hours and 14 minutes give or take, while a year on Uranus is about 84 Earth years. It takes a long, long time to go around the sun when you are 2.8 billion kilometers away from it. Now that's one long road trip. Now Uranus has a ton of moons. How many moons? More than two dozen of them. Here's another trivia you can take home to your friends. Most of the moons on Uranus are named after Shakespearean characters. One of the most interesting moons is Miranda. When Voyager 2 passed by Miranda, it took pictures of this icy world. Miranda can easily challenge our moons in terms of craters, bumps, canyons and grooves. In this mishmash of terrain, what interests me the most is a place called Verona Rupes. This is the tallest cliff in the entire solar system. If someone was to die from this cliff, which I would not recommend, it would take a total of 12 minutes to reach the surface. Now, like Jupiter and Saturn, Uranus is a ring system too. These were discovered by accident in 1997. Astronomers were observing Uranus as it passed directly in front of a star. They were hoping to use this moment to gather information about the planet's atmosphere, since starlight would pass through it. What they saw shocked them. They saw several dips in starlight, which they realized were caused from the rings around the planet. Uranus's rings are made up of dark particles, probably ice and reddish organic molecules. There are 13 known rings. Most of them are very faint and narrow. But much like the planet's sideways shuffle, little is known about the origins of these rings. There we are. That's Uranus. The rebel. The one that does not comply. And the one that was discovered purely by accident. You see, accidental discoveries make up a lot of what we know about the solar system. But not Neptune. Neptune was found using math. How? Find out in our next episode. While you're still here, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Also, you want to click that bell icon so you'll be notified about any future video from all of us here at Anu Club. Bye-bye.